Hello everyone and welcome to the first grammar class at Multilingual. Today we're speaking about present simple and continuous. How to make these tenses and what's the difference between them. First, let's have a closer look at what is present simple and present continuous. Let me remind you of this. Present simple is in this sentence. She never comes on time. Comes with S at the end is an example of present simple. Remember, you have to put an S at the end of the verb for he, she, and it. Present continuous, they're having a great time on holiday. Ah, having is present continuous. For this tense, you need two verbs. Remember this, to be and the main verb with ing. Please don't make the mistake and say they having. Don't forget the verb to be. I hear this mistake a lot. They are having a great time. He is having. I am having a great time on holiday. Before we start with the rules and the explanation, I would like to have a quiz with you. I'm going to give you five sentences with two options for each. The one will be in present simple and the other one in present continuous. I would like you to choose the best option. Please do not think too much, just trust your gut feeling. Let's go! Here's the first one for you. Vegetarians are people who don't eat meat. Present simple. Or the second one. Vegetarians are people who aren't eating meat. The simple or the continuous version. The second one. I stay with John until my flat is ready. Or I'm staying with John until my flat is ready. Which one is correct? Hey, what do you do with my bag? Or maybe, hey, what are you doing with my bag? Number four. Do you play tennis every weekend? Or maybe continuous. Are you playing tennis every weekend? Which one would you choose? And the final, number one. Oh. And the final sentence, number five. You always complain about the weather. Or continuous, you're always complaining about the weather. Which one is correct? That's the end of the quiz and I'm going to give you the answers at the end of this video, so please stick around. And now let's discuss what is present simple and what is present continuous, when to use these tenses and what is the main difference between them. Let's go into this. Present simple is used for regular actions. Every Saturday I go out for dinner. General truth. The sun rises in the east. Permanent situations. I live and work in Berlin. And routines. Every morning I wake up at 7, have a shower, have a cup of coffee and go to work. Present simple has a number of signal words. They're usually always, often, sometimes, rarely and never. For example, you can say, sometimes she comes late, but it rarely happens. Sometimes and rarely are both signal words in this sentence. I commute to work because I live in another town. There is no signal word in this sentence, but we understand that it's a permanent situation. Present continuous is used for temporary actions. For example, my car is broken, so this week I'm going to work by bus. Current situations. At the moment, I'm working on a very interesting project at work. Annoying habits. You're always losing your car keys. This meaning is very interesting in present continuous because they use the word always and we said that's a signal word for present simple usually. But if somebody is doing something repeatedly and that's annoying you a lot, you would use present continuous instead of present simple. You're always forgetting or losing your car keys. 
In present continuous, we also use some signal words, for example, at the moment, now, currently. Like in this example, currently, scientists are working on a new vaccine. Currently, the signal word, are working, present continuous. She's staying home and learning for the exams. There is no signal word in this sentence, but you can feel it that it's a temporary or a current situation. Now let's compare both tenses at one place. Here you can see present simple, it's made with the main verb plus s. If you use it for he, she or it, don't forget to put s at the end of the verb. And it's used for regular actions. Present continuous, you need two verbs, to be and the main verb with ing. And it's used for temporary actions. Very important, please do not forget the verb to be. Present continuous, you need two verbs. Remember this. And now let's check the answers of the quiz, which you had to do at the beginning of this video. The first one, vegetarians are people who don't eat meat. It's general truth, that's why present simple. I'm staying with John until my flat is ready. Present continuous because it's a temporary action. And number three, again, you have present continuous. Hey, what are you doing with my back? It's a current situation. In number four, do you play tennis every weekend? It's a regular activity, present simple here. And number five, you're always complaining about the weather. It's an annoying habit. That's why we use present continuous. So what about your answers? Were all of them correct? I hope so. If not, just try to do as many exercises as possible to get the right feeling for present simple and continuous. And one more question here. Do you think it's a big deal if you confuse the both tenses? Could it be a huge problem? Yes, sometimes it can lead to misunderstanding. I would like to show you when. Please watch out in this situation. If you ask, what do you do in present simple, you ask about somebody's job. What do you do means, what's your job? I'm a journalist, I'm a waiter, I'm a doctor, I'm a student. If you ask what are you doing, you're asking about something at the moment. What are you doing at the moment? I'm sitting at the table doing my homework or learning for the exam or doing some paperwork. What do you do in present simple and what are you doing? Present continuous, totally different meaning. Be careful there. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you and you liked it. If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel not to miss videos in the future. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching again and see you in my next one. Goodbye.